Hi guys. In the previous video, I showed you how to implement a flexible detector uh, using Unity events. But in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how we can use it to solve the problem of, uh, of creating a multiple uh, area detector. Okay, so let's set up our scene first. So let's suppose that we have a cube and a sphere. Uh, I would like to split this cube into two areas, upper and bottom one, and I would like to dev detect whenever uh, whenever a ball collides with upper part or lower part of the cube. What we can try to do is uh, we can try to uh, mark this collider as uh, as trigger and create another one. Collider, and then we can adjust their sizes to cover upper and bottom uh, part of the cube. Okay, so let's start from the uh, the upper one. Five and bottom one. Okay. Now. We have uh, two box colliders. Uh, one uh, is uh, is covering upper part, and, and the second one is covering bottom part. So let's try to create a, a, a script called multi multi area detector. Okay, and let's assign it to our cube. Okay. And uh, what we can try is we can try to implement on trigger uh, enter method, for example, uh, to handle if any object enters the trigger. But um, the problem is that uh, we have only other collider so we are not able to determine which trigger was activated. So how we can solve the problem is uh, to create uh, two empty uh, two empty game objects inside our cube. Let's call it pop area and another one bottom area. Let's add box colliders here. As you can see, this collider covers top part of the cube. Let's create another one that covers bottom part of the cube. Okay, so we have two empty game objects with colliders. Now let's remove those colliders from the parent uh, game object. And now Let's prepare four methods. Public void when top trigger enter with collider when top trigger exit. And let's do the same for a bottom collider. So when bottom trigger enter, when bottom trigger exit. Okay, let's clean the code. And now we can use the detector created in a previous video. Uh, to detect uh, the collision here and here and pass uh, this event to the uh, detector here. What is important, we need to mark box collider as is trigger. 
we need to go to the sphere and add rigid body to the sphere as well. I'm gonna mark uh, its kinematic. We can add our detectors detector to the upper part and on trigger enter I'm gonna uh, invoke our cube multi-area detector when top trigger enter method on trigger exit I'm gonna call my cubes multi-area detector on top trigger exit method I'm gonna do the same with a bottom detector so I'm gonna detector script when bottom trigger enter let's call on bottom trigger exit and that's all now let's play then the simulation and see what happens I'm gonna select a sphere and I'm gonna enter the top part so as you can see when top trigger entered when top trigger exit when bottom trigger enter and when bottom trigger exit okay let's clear it and when I enter both I get both events when I exit from both I get both events there is also another way that we can build uh, our area detector so I'm gonna show you this way now so let's create a multi area detector v2 on our behavior okay instead of redirecting a uh, detector's event to the multi area detector uh, we can assign those detectors uh, using serialized fields private detector let's call it top detector and top area detector and bottom area detector and what we can do now is uh, we can uh, register listeners directly from the script instead of setting them up uh, in the inspector so uh, let's override uh, on the enable method and here we can we can copy our listeners the script and then uh, in the enable method we can um, add particular listeners uh, to the events we need to remember to remove listeners in disable method let's remove a multi-area detector from the cube and let's add multi-area detector version 2 to the cube i need to remove uh, those uh, listeners and what i need to do is just to drag top area detector to the first field and bottom area detector to the second field and let's test our multi-area detector as you can see everything works like a harm so that's all what i've prepared for today if you don't want to miss any further videos like that please subscribe to my channel and as always thank you for watching and see you in my next videos